What glaze is, it's a clear transparent and it suspends pigment. Okay? The first thing I'm going to have you do is grab a plate and I want you to squirt out about that much. Okay? And then you're going to take one of these big brushes and you're just going to cover your entire board with it. And when you're applying the glaze, like if you can lift it up and it will slide or drip off, then you have too much glaze on. So it just takes a little bit. This is called a slip coat. And so then once you get that kind of blue net, what I want you to do is take a paper and you can tell, and it'll just wipe all of the center out. This is Anthony. He's my teacher, better known as my uh, stand-in. He's helping me paint. Here's here's my inspiration. You, look at look at I look like a real artist. You are a real artist. So here's my inspiration. We're going for this. You'd think that a martini glass would give me enough inspiration for a lifetime. But this is why I have my understudy, Anthony. I did another one. Boise Art Factory. Um, I'm here with all of my fabulous girlfriends. Hey, hello. Very dearly. Oh, I'm good. Uh, and this kind of has made me want to be a painter. I went a little crazy with the splashing and the sporshing and the dripping. Um, I'm going to give this to my boyfriend. Aww. Aww. Yes. Aww. And he will love it. We started out with the blank canvases and a lot of intimidation and when they were done it was something phenomenal. It was really beautiful and it doesn't look like they were intimidated at all at the end result. Really cool. I'm at the Boise Art Factory and seriously I don't know what better thing I could do on a Tuesday night than drink some wine and paint a fantastic peacock. It's not done yet so please don't judge but it's getting there.